Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to show you how you can use an if statement with an and statement and an or statement. So if and or. So I've got two examples on the screen. The top one, I'm going to use an and with an if. So basically what, what I want this to say is if this account type is a letter A, and they've spent more than £2,000, I want that to say letter to MD. Otherwise, I want to say standard letter. Now, with a normal if statement, you just get one condition or one test to do, one logical test, and then a true or a false. You can nest an if, but that's the basic if. One test, a true or a false. If you add the AND function in to an if formula, you get multiple tests. All of those tests for the AND must be true before the true statement of the IF is activated, otherwise it will show false. So let's just do an AND by itself first of all. So if I just go in this cell here and type equals, equals AND, open bracket on the AND, let's say that is equal to A, comma, and that is greater than 2000 close the bracket now that should come back with true no it shouldn't it come back with false because that is not a that is a b and that is true but that's still going to come back with false because both of these need to be true so it comes back with false so if i change that to an a that'll say true so that's basically how the and works it will return a true or a false which you can then use to trigger an if statement so if I just delete that for now if I put the two together in this cell so if I go equals if and then and open the brackets so the and gives you the logical tests so if that is equal to the letter a comma and that cell D2 is greater than 2000 close the and that's the only two I want that's the two tests now I'm back to the if so we're on the logical test there look if I put a comma in there what do I want it to do if it's true in quotes letter to MD close quotes comma if it's false I want it to say standard letter close quotes close the if bracket just check it on there click the tick standard letter bring it down letter to md because that is a and that is greater than 2000 so that's the if and now the or function so with the and function everything with inside the and bracket has to be true to trigger the true part of the if statement However, the OR function, only one of these needs to be true for it to trigger the TRUE part. So if I do the OR on this one, where that one was true and that one was false, it will return TRUE because one of them is TRUE. So if I just do that one, equals OR, open bracket, that is equal to A, comma, OR, that is greater than 2000 close a bracket on that so that should come back with true because one of them is true and it does so then if you did the same with the or function inside an if statement so it'd be equals if open the bracket or open the bracket and then you type the same sort of thing so that cell is equal to a comma uh, or that cell is greater than 2000 close the bracket and then you're doing the true bit so this would be letter in quotes letter to MD close quotes comma open quotes standard letter and then close the quotes close the bracket for the if and then when you tick that it comes with the letter to MD because one of these is true and when I pull that down all of them Either, that means either one of these is true in every single case. So that's the 
if and and if or and let's just do another if and on this one so in this example if it's a new customer so if that says yes and they've got an offer of yes I want it to do a 15% discount on this figure so again you go equals if open the bracket and open the bracket and then you can do your criteria so if that cell equals yes and it's text so it has to go in quotes comma and that cell equals yes in quotes if both of those are true close that and comma look at this cell and times 0.15 which is 15 percent of it comma otherwise nothing do nothing close the if and then tick you get the 9000 because that is true and you double click that down it's true also there and then this is just a sum taking that 9000 off that 64000 so that's just a, a little example of how you can use the if and and all functions either separately or together to get a result hopefully that video was of use to you thank you for your time i'll catch you on the next one